Hey everyone, so today I'm in Stanton by Dale in Derbyshire, once the mighty empire and location of the former Stanton Ironworks. Absolutely huge, and it lasted until around 2007 before the last work and activity at the ironworks was taking place, and no longer was iron and concrete being produced there. To my right hand side is gate number two, and a lot more warehouses still lay beyond that. A lot of them prefabricated and new, and a lot of them are the old original brickwork. Could be taking a look at that in a later video. But first of all today, I've come to have a look and hopefully find something else. Now during the Second World War, there was a load of air raid shelters and bunkers placed into the ground right next to the Stanton Ironworks, should the workforce need it in, you know, the chance of an air raid happening. And they are apparently just situated over there. So I'm on a public footpath, I'm going to keep going forward and hopefully make my way down there and find these air raid shelters. Immediately, we found one look. Steps down, but it's flooded. And there's a door in there, it looks like an iron door sealing this once important air raid shelter. So that's clearly under this ground somewhere. It looks like there's another opening just on the other side. So that's just there, look. And if we pop along over here, there is not indeed, there's another one. Although this one does not look flooded. It looks a little bit muddy down there. Around the side of the second doorway, we've got some kind of opening lot. It'd be some sort of ventilation shaft, wouldn't it? And there's a smaller one just here. And I'm gonna take you over here because I can see another shaft or an opening for ventilation, which must mean that there is in fact another opening for access to. There we go, look. So this, this must join on to the other one. And that is not flooded either, although it does look a little bit muddy. So if I go opposite that, there probably is in fact going to be another one. And there you go, look, this one looks overgrown. And it's probably flooded as well. Yeah, so there's nothing happening there. So, we've found ourselves four entrances to these air raid shelters. There's a little bit more over there, which I'm going to take a look at later on. Stanton Ironworks complex was all over there. So they would have had to have come over here and hid themselves underground under this huge, huge playing field lot. Or maybe it was farmland, I'm not sure. It could have been a playing field. So I'm going to get my light out and see if I can have a poke around in that one over there. Okay, there we go, look. So, over there you can see a little bit of light shining through. That is the other staircase, look. You can see the corrugated steel roof, look, and even a circular opening there. That is gonna be one of those ventilation shafts that was looking at from above. We turn it around, there's two little dead-end rooms and some kind of hoop or hook just there, look. There is an element of flooding down here. That looks like it's about a foot deep just there. I'm luckily stood on wooden planks right now. So I can't get through it. There's a bird's nest there or some sort. 
Looks like something's been nesting down here. Not this year, it looks like it's a little bit old. Yeah, so there's water going all the way through. That's brilliant. So that little club there, that's the one we've just been in. And this is the other end of it. And there's no point in going down there. It's quite muddy down there because we're just going to see where we've just been, but at the opposite end, and it looks absolutely identical. So I'm just popping back around to the flooded one, the first one we found, just so I can light it up a little bit and take a photo. And with Death Ray doing its job, you can make out that iron door, which is allowing this water to collect. It's quite weird, actually, how this one's been sealed off. I wonder if it was a lot more dangerous than the others. But the other one we've just been in clearly isn't. And this, this iron plate or door, it looks absolutely rusted up and old. Right, so now we're taking a look at these four openings and we got inside one of them, didn't we? That was brilliant. There's an even bigger one to go and see. It's a lot longer and should be a hell of a lot darker as well. Let's go and find it. Okay, so we found the entrance to the third one, the longer one. And if I step back a little bit and you look at these line of yellow and green bushes, just keep looking, keep looking. We've got all the way along there and all the way to around about just there. That is the other end. There's a couple of concrete pillars. They're further access points, I believe. But there's an entrance and an exit right the way down there. It looks huge. It looks about six to eight times longer than the one we've just stepped inside. So I'm expecting a different kind of layout inside, maybe twisted and turning on the inside. Let's go and get our heads inside and light it up. So we're in it, we're down, and it's completely different to the other one. Rather than the corrugated flat roof, it's a curved roof line. Look at that. And look at this, right at the entrance. That's where we've just come down, look. We've got this. Obviously, for some sort of cables, it's got the little pulley loop at the top. So it's something for telecommunications. Lots of spiders' webs down here, so I'll try not to show them for any of those with the faint hearted. So immediately in, and it looks like it comes to an end, but it doesn't. It's going to take a sharp left, and there's another one of those telecommunication cable pulley systems there, if that's what they are, and it is a ventilation shaft. Let's try and have a look. Yep, yeah, lots of spiders, eggs and flies and webs in there. And we're going to take a sharp right. And we're taking that sharp right we just did and it looks like a similar length again look i've had to go to the death ray because i went around the corner and my floodlight just went out i think there's a problem with that but death ray still does the job another pulley system on the corner and you can just know the curve of the roof look looks like it's been painted in recent years too which is quite odd sharp right again another ventilation hole and another pulley system. There must be some sort of shock creating maybe and it's been 
painted over, it's like a whitewash. No, oh, I've just walked into a common. Ugh. Yeah, no trace of anything on the ground apart from what appears to be some sort of guttering channel. Go and have a look. Maybe for some kind of drainage, or maybe cables were buried under there once. But as we follow it around the corner, you can see we're at the point where there's an entrance and there's another shaft. But that is never used. Look, look, that's got all sorts of stuff down there a wheel hub, twigs, branches. There is a bit of an opening on the right, look. So, probably some sort of storage location, maybe for foodstuffs or water. So we found ourselves another entrance, another step entrance or exit. So we've just come from just down there. You can't see much at all, it's pitch black. It just shows you what it'd be like without light, wouldn't it? Got another, what looks like a storage room and the journey does continue on. Let's take a look outside these steps to see how far we've come. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's one of those concrete walls I pointed out earlier. And you know those air shafts that I keep looking at? Look at the curved roof as well, just there. Well, there's one of those air shafts that look capped off, got a few holes in it. But this, this shows you the shape of the roof line lot. This concrete structure with a curvature roof. It's grassed over on the other side. There's another air shaft just there. And that smaller one just there, let's take you over to it. That is directly above that little dead end alcove, what looks like a little storeroom that is what is down there let's run back down and we can roughly see how far we've come and how far we've got to go so we started just beyond that yellow bush there we're not even halfway we've got all the way down there to go so i'm going to get ourselves back inside and we're going to have to carry on our little journey in this underground stanton bunker different it's a pulley one of those pulley, little pulley systems look but it's a different shape it's more of a square shape right next to that there's this other little metal hook with a loop on it we've got another one of those ventilation shafts oh i don't really want to think what's living up there and another pulley just there look. you can see the curvature just there look there's a support beam there made of iron probably might have even been locally produced still got the guttering on the ground look the beam of light is sitting like that so you can see that and as so we come down here another pulley system and another doorway so this doorway is going to be the next one down from the one we just stepped out at a few minutes ago it's clear and you know accessible so you could easily pop in here should you wish to. We've got another alcove just here, look. But curiously, down the next bit, there's a beam of light and it's on the opposite side. And I do believe that the reason this system crisscrosses all the way through in sections opposite to each other, it's like that all the way through, is if any of it probably collapsed during bombing or anything similar, it would only cave in a small section at a time and the rest of it Although it'd be barricaded off with rubble, it'd still be a different section, so it shouldn't collapse all the way along. That's what I believe myself. Could be wrong, but it makes sense to me. 
let's get back in here and I'm going to see if that's an air shaft that's actually letting light into this underground bunker. So if I walk down to it without actually having death ray shining on it, you can see it more apparent. This beam of light coming down. And it is indeed from a shaft lock. There it is. So this one isn't capped off. Like the other ones are. But again, if we look around the corner, we can see more light coming down. So is that a doorway or is it another one of these shafts? Around another corner we go and it's very very dark in this section it's got like this blackened roof and every bump and bang you can hear from the workshops and the road around just billows down here and it's a little bit tense still got this guttering channel running along the ground but we're still not at the other end i told you it was long didn't i and we might actually be there right about now let's have a look here we go we've made it so this is our last stairway this is the stairway out the other end we've walked the full length of it let's get ourselves up this step because although it's bushed off at the top we can climb over the wall and get a full look at where we've just come out of so there's our view back down look let's shine light in there a little bit there you go you can see it a bit better and it's echoing too. We've got this concrete roof on the doorway as well, look. Let's climb up and over and just see where we were. So again, you can roughly see if we step back where we've just walked. So we've just come out there and we've ventured all the way over there. You can see a pair of bushes just there in the distance. They're the first two that we went in, those little ones. If I jump on top of the roof, just put death ray down a moment, and I'll take it over here, look, and you can see a straight line of all of those air shafts all the way along. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are more beyond there, but they're just hidden within the bushes. So that's an extraordinary insight of what was once it was here to protect the workers of the Stanton Ironworks and maybe even the communities around and also over there don't forget Stanton Ironworks was also situated so what I'm going to do now I'm going to step back into where we just come out of that entrance slash exit I'm going to walk all the way through uninterrupted line it up as I go along the way and I shall see you at the other end come on let's go So that's it, I made it out the other end. 
I counted six entrances, I counted 18 turns, and I also counted 22 little air shafts going through the roof. There's probably more if we count those little ones as well. So from Stanton by Dale, this has been the air raid shelters right next to the huge, huge former Stanton Ironworks. I'll probably put the video on of the Explorer of the Ironworks at some point. Did it about 18 months ago, but never got around to putting it on for one reason or another. So that's another one to look out for. Thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, please comment below. More suggestions for this kind of thing as well. We don't get to do this sort of thing very often. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.